all believers have the authority to rebuke evil spirits, how can we tell if someone is possessed or influenced by devils? All right, those are some pretty good questions. And uh, the Bible's pretty clear on that. Jesus told the disciples that he gave them power to tread on scorpions and serpents and nothing by any means hurt them. And then we have the example of the disciples casting out devils and rebuking them and freeing people from demonic possession, devil possession. And then in the New Testament church, we find, like in the book of Ephesians, he said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And uh, so our battle is against the forces of darkness, uh, not just against man. It's a spiritual battle. Now, we need to keep a balance. In other words, God gave us as human beings, members of his body, authority over the devil. But that doesn't mean that we can just go around indiscriminately commanding him. If we could, then I would say, Satan, I command you to not harm any more children anywhere in the world forever. And it'd be done, right? But obviously I don't have that kind of power. Daniel prayed for 21 days for an answer. And God sent angels to give Daniel his answer. And after 21 days, the, Dan the, answer, the angel came and appeared before Daniel and Daniel was I'm kind of surprised it took 21 days. I would be too. And the angel said, look, God dispatched me with the answer the day you started praying. But the prince of Persia hindered me. That was, Daniel was in Persia. He was a captive in Persia. And so the spiritual power that was over the district of Persia obviously had resisted the, the righteous angel coming into his atmosphere and bringing an answer, and so he resisted that righteous spirit. And so the righteous spirit said that Michael and his angels came and, and fought and overcame the prince of Persia and his devils, and I got through, and here's the answer. Uh, but then the angel, as if he was in a hurry, he said, I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta get back to the battle. They need me. And so he left and went back to continue fighting a battle that was ongoing. That means that the angels of God couldn't just walk in and use some kind of foo-foo dust, you know, or wave some divine wand and say, okay, devils be gone. They had to battle uh, on some realm, some plane, some dimension that we may not know exist even, but they had to battle with, somehow they had physical structure that could be hindered from coming through that atmosphere to answer the prayer. They could be resisted, some force shield or something. I have no idea. So when we pray uh, and rebuke devils, it's not automatic. You can't just pray anytime, anybody pray anyway and, and get an absolute instant answer any more than you can get healed. It, it takes... He said, you, you receive not because you ask not. When you do ask, you ask amiss that you may re consume it upon your, your lust. Uh, so I've been in churches where people seek entertainment uh, through rebuking devils and casting out devils. Now, I've cast out devils. I, I, what I'm talking about, I know something about. I, I've had people wallowing around on the floor acting like cats. I've had them cutting their blood, uh, drinking their own blood, uh, writing, uh, before I got in the room, writing on the walls in foreign languages, uh, dictating uh, satanic formulas to people, uh, girls speaking in men's voices, uh, people fighting violently, uh, voices coming out of their gut without their mouth moving, uh, speaking to us in foreign languages, giving us their names speaking to the Christians and rebuking them. I know you, I don't know you. Uh, I can't hurt you, you're a man of God. I mean, we're talking about just exactly what you see in the New Testament. We, we I've seen, uh, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 cases like that where we've cast out devils. Sometimes we couldn't cast them out. We prayed, we prayed, we prayed for a long time and we couldn't cast them out. Jesus said, this kind cometh out, but not but by much prayer and fasting. Do we have power? Yes, God gave us power, but that power is based on the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It's based on righteousness on our part. It's based on faith. 
It's based on endurance like Daniel in prayer. It's something provided by grace, but it's not provided easy. It's part of an ongoing life's battle that we need to fight, but we can overcome. And we do, we do overcome, but it's one battle at a time. We can't just go out and drop a nuke, a spiritual nuke and say, okay, the devil's finished by faith, he's finished. It's a skirmish every day against the forces of darkness. God intended it that way. That's, that's the field on which character is created in every one of us. We can't have character unless we overcome. There can't be glory unless we win, and we can't win unless there's a battle, and there can't be a battle unless there's two sides, and that other side is the side of evil and darkness, and Satan heads it up. He runs that side. So, yes, God gave us power in the Scriptures, and it's ours today in the New Testament but uh, it's, it's a battle and uh, one we welcomely fight. Now, we pray for our children. We pray, Lord, uh, save them from the force of darkness. We pray, Satan, get out of the room. My wife woke me up one night, said the death angel's in the room, pray. I was sleepy, I didn't wanna pray. I thought maybe she's a woman on her cycle or something. She wouldn't let me sleep. She said, wake up, the death angel's in the room. So I had to wake up. If I'm gonna go back to sleep, I had to wake up and pray. So I woke up and I prayed. And as I got awake good and started praying, it, I had a sense of what she, was, what she was feeling. So I prayed and rebuked the death angel. We had one child, two child, two children at the time. And uh, she said, okay, it's okay, the death angel's gone. Hmm. About three hours later, I saw some flashing lights. <laughs> The child next door died that night, and the ambulance was there. Gabriel was sick that night. He, he had high fever, woke up, he was high fevered. The two of them, the two mothers, had gone to Health and Human Services to get the shots for the children. We didn't know about such things then. The government said, do it, we did it. And so went to get the shots, and there were a couple children died in the city that night, and they said it was... Well, that sudden death syndrome for a one and a half year old? I don't think so. So uh, the forces of darkness were abated in our life that night, but not in their neighbor's life. Why? I think because we prayed, because my, God spoke to my wife. She, she sensed the forces of darkness. That's called discernment of spirits. She discerned the spirits that were in the room that were there, and we rebuked them and overcame. So that's a good battle and one we're winning in, but you got to fight the battle.